And it's also the time of year when people start filing their tax returns. And given that this is the first filing under the new tax laws, there are some things to keep in mind. Here's Sharon Epperson. If you're used to getting a big refund, you may be in for a big surprise. Early numbers from the IRS for the first week of the tax filing season show the average refund down 8% from the same time last year. Sweeping changes brought about by the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act have had a significant impact on many taxpayers. The new tax law nearly doubled the standard deduction to $12,000 for individuals and $24,000 for couples. So many may no longer want to automize. Under the old tax law, an estimated 46 million taxpayers itemized their taxes, use a variety of deductions to lower their taxable income. Under the new tax code, that number is expected to drop to just 18 million because many widely used deductions were either capped or eliminated altogether. If you're worried about your tax bill, there is still time to get a break. You can put money in a traditional IRA or individual retirement account for 2018, up to $5,500 or 6,500 if you're 50 or older. And if you meet the income requirements, it will lower your taxable income dollar for dollar. You have until April 15th to make that contribution. And to avoid any tax surprises next year, do a paycheck checkup to make sure your company is withholding the right amount of federal taxes throughout the year. Grab your most recent pay stub and tax return, then use the IRS withholding calculator to check the amount is correct. If it's not, file a new W-4 form with your employer. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sharon Epperson.